Hi, this is Dirk with Remodel AI, and we had a user post on the forums asking for some help with this image. Um, and this is a particularly interesting project. This person is probably an architect of some sort, so they have a CAD drawing that they'd like to turn into a real image, um, but they'd like to do it with a specific style in mind. Um, so this style, which I particularly like, nice black windows, pretty clean look, brick on the bottom, uh, black roof, so fairly modern look. I really like this. Um, so we're going to try to apply that style to these CAD drawings and see if we can get a nice result. So I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to switch over to the app. I'm going to go to, now we could use all these different tools, but I'm going to jump right into the exterior editor because we're going to be doing lots of things. Um, and so the first thing I'm going to do is just load up the image from Google Drive. Where did I put that image? So let's start with this one. Now, Actually, you know what? I'm going to go back and I'm going to do that differently. Um, there's two images of houses for every image, so that's not going to work because the AI is going to say, how are there two houses floating on top of each other? So instead of clicking like I did there, um, I'm going to go up here to advanced. And then I'm going to load the image in the advanced loader. Um, so click load and click this one. Now the reason I did that is because I actually want to crop that out. Um, so let me change the dimensions to something custom. Probably want something like this. I'm just going to figure out. So these sizes are kind of sizes that AI tends to work with. Um, let's go with a little bit less height. Uh, so I just want that image. So I'm cropping it essentially is what I'm doing. Um, we could probably also zoom in a little bit. It's hard to do on the emulator that I'm using, but. So let's go with that. Now we're going to clean up all this other lines and stuff separately. So um, this is how you'd crop the image. Now you could do this in an external process on your computer, on the web, on another app. Uh, before you do it, I'm just showing you how you can do it in the app. So then you click Next. So now we have this nice photo. Now I'm going to just go ahead and save this as a starting point so we have this image now in our gallery so we don't have to go through that process again. Um, and I'm going to use a paintbrush to clean this up. So let me use the color picker because this is not exactly white, but it's pretty close, I think. And now I'm just going to brush over this. So I'm just painting over these lines because we don't want these lines for AI. Um, these lines come from the, you know, the whatever CAD program he's using to draw these drawings. Um, but we don't want this because that's going to interfere with the AI because AI is going to say, what are these lines and what am I supposed to put there? It doesn't know. Um, now, you don't, this doesn't need to be perfect. Like everything in AI, just get it close enough. I kind of messed up a couple places. I colored outside the lines, as they say, but that's okay. I'm going to get rid of this stuff, too. Don't want any of that. Okay, that's a pretty good starting point. Um, now there's all sorts of stuff on here with lines and things that are probably measurements. Um, we could go and clean that all up, but I don't really think that level is necessary. So again, I'm gonna save. So we have this image now saved in our gallery if we ever wanna pick up where we left off. You can always do undo and redo, but you know, if you exited the program and wanted to play around with this again, it's nice to have the image ready to go. So now we've got our house um, close enough with drawings and markings all over it. Let's now go into remodel. We're going to do a full remodel. Um, so we're going to remodel this house and we're going to use the style image that he wanted to use. And I believe that was here. You know what? I made a mistake again because this style image has all sorts of weird markup stuff in it. We don't want that. So I'm going to go back here to load image again. I'm not going to click photos. I'm going to go to advanced again. I'm going to say load image, this one. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to crop out that stuff. So I'm going to custom. Let's do a little less height. 
and I'm gonna so we don't want this this weird black thing up here these dots and this back arrow that's gonna confuse the AI because it's gonna say what am I supposed to put in the image that you know reflects that kind of style now those white dots also a problem we could fix that separately but this is probably good enough. Uh, we just want it for inspiration of style, but we don't want the AI to be confused with this stuff. So I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna use that image as my inspiration image. So there we go. We can see our style image. Here's the, what we wanna generate. So just click generate. I mean, that's pretty good. It did mess up kind of where the ground is. Um, and I believe that's because in our original image, it was kind of floating, right? So um, there's no ground here. And so it kind of messed that up. I um, mean, you could see that when it was animating the lines that it, the depth map was off. It didn't really understand what was supposed to be down here. So we could go back and edit the original image and kind of have the image be on the bottom here. Um, that's one way you could do it. But let's see. Another way you could do it is probably say, I'm going to allow you a little bit more creativity so it will add the ground there. Um, the way I do that is I bring this fidelity down. Fidelity is how much the resulting image will match the starting image. Um, now, intuitively, you'd want it to be the max. I want it to match it as closely as possible. Yes, but in some cases, giving the AI more freedom can produce better images. So let's, although I do really like that. Um, oops, I clicked out of the, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go back and let's start this again. Full remodel, style image, go into here, pick our style image. I should have just cropped it while we were at it, but that's okay. So fidelity, let's bring it down to 0. 0.5. Generate. So you see how this is off. It doesn't understand that, you know, the house is not in the foreground and there's nothing else. We actually need some bushes and things here. So, see, because it's messing up the bottom here, because uh, it's it's got the scale off. Although that's pretty close, and it does get the, the style right. You know, it's got the the siding. All those is vertical instead of horizontal, but it's got the brick at the bottom. It's got the black windows. It's got a roof that it guessed because it can't see the roof from the style image. So it probably guessed a roof that would look good with this. Um, I do actually like that quite a lot. Um, it moved the windows, which is not what we want. That's because we reduced the fidelity. Um, so let's bring the fidelity back up to, let's say, 0.7. But instead of doing that, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to do replace, and I'm going to say, I can't see that color, so I'm going to change the masking color. I'm going to say replace this. because I want it to add some, uh, what do we say? CAD landscaping drawing. I just wanted to put something there so that the AI knows, hey, we want a yard here. Uh, but that's fine, but it extended the house. So 
we don't want it to go up. We don't want it to build the house up. We want it to be the ground floor right here. Now I made a, made a mistake with the masking and that might be why it's... Let's try a different approach because it likes to add on. I'm gonna just um, paint a yard. Uh, let's go here. Why can't I change the color? There we go. That's not a very good green. <laughs> That's not, that is not, uh, I would say grass. Maybe something more like this. That's very better. I know what you're thinking, that looks really bad. I'm just trying to encourage the AI to put this at the ground level. So let me switch to a different color. And let's say we want a walkway. Nailed it. Absolutely beautiful. But the point is, you know, we're just trying to encourage the AI. So let's now try to remodel and see if we can get some decent results without it adding Kind of a story to this house. Let's go back and load our style image. Um, advanced, load the image. Now I would, so you don't have to do this every time, when you're taking style images make sure you get rid of all this stuff um, because if you're just taking a screenshot of your screen, unfortunately some apps don't let you save images which can be a real pain so you have to take a screenshot, that's probably what happened here. Um, but you know this stuff will absolutely influence the style so you want to do as best you can a higher resolution uh, image would help a lot because that image is really blurry and very low, low resolution so unfortunately it copies that as part of the style uh, we could fix that with upscaling which i'll show you but if you had a higher resolution style image you would get better results as well because it's going to copy kind of the fuzzy and blurriness of it So you can see from the depth map, it's done a much better job of understanding, hey, there's a yard here. So that should help quite a bit with our results. So let's see before after it kind of added onto the house here we don't want that um, that I'd say is our closest that's pretty good um, so the three windows the windows the steps it, you know it added my pathway here um, it's got a roof that's black roof that matches that oh so you can see the roof in this image um, so I really think this one's good it did add a stripe here that's probably because there's kind of two tones from the style image but again, you could repeat this process. The one thing I don't like about this image is the fact that it's blurry. Um, that's because it's pulling it from the style image, but let me show you what to do. So just go here to resize and probably use Creative Upscaler. We don't want it to change the image too much. A beautiful mountain modern home. What this is going to do is, one, it's going to upsize the image, but also it's going to add those details that it doesn't have. Um, and so it will fix this kind of blurriness that came from the style image. We certainly don't want um, that to be blurry. And now let me zoom out a bit. That's a little bit too crazy. Um, so it, changed, it added too much details. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to try resizing it again. This time I'm going to give it less strength. So what this strength is, is how much detail it's allowed to cheat and add. Um, because when the AI is upscaling this, it's adding details that don't exist in the original photo. Um, so if we 
decrease that strength, it should be a little less exotic. You can write anything here. Um, this prompt will guide the upscaling process as well. So, you know, I don't have to say modern mountain home. We kind of wanted to keep the existing style. So I just typed in a beautiful home this time. So that maybe helped a little bit as well. And that's pretty good. Um, so again, you know, you can save anywhere along this process, save these images as your gallery. You can also go back and forth as much as you want. This is the whole process. So we started with that. We painted over those lines. We added a yard and a driveway of sorts. Then we started remodeling with the full remodel tool, and then we upscale at the end, and that is our resulting image. So hopefully this shows how you can use some of these different tools to turn your CAD drawings into real-life renders. Thanks for joining.